This is how I install the rings. Put it in the groove and slide it in. The first one's the hardest because it's the farthest away. But usually you can get it in there without having any problems. Some guys use ring expanders. You can. This way works too. So I've been doing it forever, so why change the ways? And of course, remember, dot to the top, chrome side down, fire ring goes to the top. And then make sure you space them, of course. You can space them all you want. I've loaded pistons with them spaced. Pull them back out after they ran, and they'll be all lined up. So I don't know if it's really useful, but it's good just to do it that way. And your ring, tension rings. I always face the piston like this and I put the top bottom one in or top one make sure that rings not overlapping and then the other one I face this way it's just the way I do it you can do it whatever way you want sharp side up to the bottom of the piston since this spacing's right here, I flip it around. You, I could have done the top one first, but I'll do the bottom or the top one, not the bottom one. Slide that on. You need to double check. Make sure they're not overlapping. Kind of hard to see. top of each other make sure they don't stick squeeze them a little bit scrape her down find your gap for your other spring flip it around same deal scrape her down Make sure your spring's not overlapped. Number one reason why these break, they're overlapping. Make sure your gaps aren't lining them up. Get it to unstick. They just stick together sometimes. Make sure everything's free so when you load it you don't break them that's it make sure your gaps don't line up some people will look at the book and it tells you exactly how to line these up in a certain spot but they're gonna move anyways that's it